using NameDrop in BES embroidery lettering software 2. To begin with, we're just going to type a name. I'm going to use my own name in a normal path. Left click into our screen and type name and apply. There you go. Now you can see that the name drops feature is highlighted. So all we have to do is click on it. Pick an output directory wherever you want these things to, where you want your names to end up. I'm putting mine on desktop for this lesson. And label it. I'm just going to put family on here. And I don't want it to open all the files right now, but I can have it open all the files or just open the first file. I'm leaving it um, at its default setting. Um, you can select what format you want to save in. I usually save in BRF as well as um, PES. And then we're just going to add additional names. And save. Now on my desktop, we'll see all of those names saved. Um, I labeled them family, so it's going to be family 001 through um, 007 in this case. And basically, um, this is my BRF format, my PES format. BRF format, PES format. And you can see that it saved each one of these files. And the nice thing about using the name drops feature is it saves everything in the same size. So if you're using these, for example, for right chess name logos for um, employee names, the perfect way to do it. Uh, also saves you a lot of recreating of the design because it's all done quickly and easily for you. That's all there is to using name drops feature in BES embroidery lettering software too.